that was Ashira Ladunai, I Will Sing to the Lord, with lyrics straight from the book of Exodus and music written by Shalom Pastolsky. And I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a, a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each one with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right, now, if you are a beginner, so you want to play the easiest version possible of this song, you can play a really good version by, first off, forgetting about the high, you know, when I jumped up and down, just don't do that. Just play the lower version of the chord. But then also on the strum, if you do like this, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Now I'm going to show you what I did, but this is easier. So we can do this first. Down, up, pause, up, pause, up. show you how to add a bit of panache. First, with your left hand, you can add some punctuation. Instead of like this, do this. All I'm doing is I'm squeezing and then letting up with my left hand. And when I let it up, it stops the sound. So it makes it more punctuated. It gives it more of a, of a precise rhythm to it. Right? Tire my left hand and I'm barely moving it. Okay. Now the next thing I'm doing, I'm doing a an up uh, a split strum coming up. Instead of just coming up, I'm going. I'm coming up in two pieces, my thumb and then my forefinger, like that. Now you put that together with the dampening. what I did. Now, as far as the chord transitions, from a D minor to a G minor, these two fingers are actually fixed in exactly the right position. They're just on the wrong string. So from here, they're just moving over one string. You drop your G minor sort of diagonally off. That's D minor to G minor, all right? And then back to an A, your middle finger is going back to the same place. Your index finger is going a little farther over. Form that A. And then from the A, to a D minor, you're going to pick one finger up, but your middle finger stays exactly in that spot, and you drop the others around, around it. Excuse me, drop them down around it. Okay, now from, again, D minor to G and A. And then on the in the interlude, what I do is I uh, come from the D straight up to the fifth fret. I'm barring, so my, my index finger is barring the fifth fret, and I lay down that middle finger, or excuse me, ring finger to form a, a high D minor. It's like a fourth position D minor, right? Like one, two, three, four. They're all D minors, but I wanted to play that one. And also, every time I go up like that, well, excuse me, when I go up on the, the D minor, it's on the upstroke. And it's just that one stroke that I do. Same thing with the D, G minor. But then the A, it's two down and two down up here. That's it. From the G minor, it's what I think of as like an E minor shape, right? And then the A is on the fourth fret like a closed G shape, but up two frets. And that's it. Now I'm gonna play in slow motion on my, close up on my chord changing hand uh, from the intro, clear through the uh, interlude. And here goes. Five, six, seven, and. Jesus. 
See you Wednesday, bye.